The 92nd Annual Academy Awards premiered this past Sunday, a.k.a. the Oscars. And while I went about my typical tradition of trying to sit down and endure the entire award show, I turned it off about 45 minutes into it. But I will say I was struck a little differently by the red carpet this year because me, along with several other people, saw Black China grace us with her presence. And I, too, had that question, how in the hell did Black China get an invitation to the Academy Awards. That is by far the last person that I would see coming across my TV screen and strutting her stuff. Not that I really have an issue with it, but it really is just that question. How did how did you do it? How did how did you get a ticket? Share with us. So that way, maybe at least next year when I want to make my dreams come true and be in the midst of all of that and Hollywood's greatness, then I'll know how to go about doing it. But she decided to take the defense of racism being the reason why so many people, publications, uh, different news sources, as well as social media influencers, questioning and making fun of the fact that she got a chance to walk the red carpet. Systemic racism and the fact that the Oscars is too white and doesn't want to embrace black people. That's why they had an issue with black China being on the red carpet. No, sis. Not your argument. Not the fight that it is that we were thinking of. It's just as the general question. Why are you at the Oscars? Now, of course, she's saying that she has every right to be there, just like anyone else that is a part of Hollywood greatness, because she makes her contributions to the entertainment industry as well. Like the fact that she has her own reality television show. She's actually been a part of a few different reality TV series. And while I will come to her defense and say that there were several other people that were not black, that have contributed to the world of reality TV series as well, that are really not coming under fire like Black China is. Not all of those people have starred in a porn flick as well, Black China. So again, why were you on the red carpet? Now, it's one thing to just be like, you know what? I got a great opportunity. This is something that I've dreamed of ever since I was a little girl. Like, I wanted to get dressed up. I wanted to be amongst all the presence of all of this great energy. But again, taking the defense of people like Cicely Tyson, Viola Davis, Halle Berry, Angela Bassett, Dorothy Dandridge, Kerry Washington, hell, Whoopi Goldberg, Octavia Spencer, even Kiki Palmer. People that we know do not get the recognition that it is that they deserve, that have put in countless hours, have have fulfilled these roles in these timeless movies that we still will quote word for word to this day that we know have been so deserving of so many accolades, but so regularly get cut short of that because they're overshadowed and because there is no racial equality when it comes to to recognizing individuals and their talents beyond Hollywood. Again, this is not your fight. And you trying to include yourself in that argument and putting yourself on the same level of these individuals, nah, sis. Now, she did clear up the fact that she ended up going to the awards. It's because, yes, she wanted to go. And she wanted to prove to people and prove to little black girls that anything is obtainable. And she also admitted that she went to the award show with a music producer by the name of Christopher Trujillo, even though she did secure her own ticket. So with that being said, in terms of serving as a role model that anything is possible, regardless of what your past is, the way that people look at you, regardless of where it is that you started, that you can leave all that in the past, you can overcome, and that you too can attend the Academy Awards one day with no contributing talents to this industry whatsoever. That right there, that is something to believe in. So thank you for that, Black China. Cheers to you. Cheers to being great. And cheers to the Philip Scott Show. I'm Michelle McKnight, and you can catch me here every week.